In the name of Allah, the most merciful and the most beneficent. My son, I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make me among his righteous servants and I ask Allah to make you among those whom he loves. My son, may Allah engulf his mercy upon you. Know that it is mandatory upon you to know your Lord, his messenger Muhammad and his religion which is Islam. My son, this knowledge will not benefit you until you act upon what you know. This action will be of no avail to you until you follow blindly in the footsteps of the Prophet. And his blind following will be of no use to you until you rectify your intentions and make it solely for the sake of Allah. Once you achieve these, then it is must upon you to invite the people towards this, starting with the closest one to you. O oh my son, know that Allah is with the patient. So never give up and be steadfast on this path. Know that your Lord is one. He created the seven heavens and the earth in six days and weariness did not touch him. He rose above his throne, above the seven heavens. Know that Allah is with you wherever you are by his knowledge. Not a leaf falls from the tree, but he knows it. May Allah have mercy on you, my beloved. Know that we confirm for Allah what he has confirmed for himself, and we deny for him what he has denied for himself in his book. For he, the Most High, knows himself better than any creature he has created. We also affirm and deny for Allah what his messenger affirmed and denied for him. For his messenger knows our Lord more than any creature that he, the Most High, has created. My beloved son, we affirm that Allah Azza wa Jal has a face which the believers will see in the day of judgment. He has a hearing with which he hears everything. That which you utter out loud and you whisper of your soul, for he is nearer to you than your jugular vein. He has a sight with which he sees everything, everywhere, for nothing is hidden from him. He has an ability with no limitation. All he has to say is be and it is. And he has a power. A power for he does as he wishes and no one can question him while he questions everyone for every action they take. He has a speech with voice and wording for he spoke to Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. He created Adam with his hand. His hands are extended and he spends as he likes. Allah Azza wa Jal did not inform us the how of these attributes. So do not allow your limited intellect to wander around about it. It's upon you to hear and obey even if your intellect does not fully understand. Know that the Qur'an is his speech and it is not created, but the papers that the Qur'an is written on, the tongues and the voices of the reciters are created. Do not allow those who have been misguided to trap you. My son, every event that has happened and the ones that will happen, every action and deed the servants commit have been preordained by Allah Azza wa Jal. Every misfortune that has befallen you was meant to find you. Even if the whole world was to defend you from it, it would be no avail. Similarly, my beloved son, every fortunate thing that came your way was destined for you and only you. Nothing upon this earth or in the heavens could have prevented it from reaching you. So always be grateful to your Lord in every condition. Know that mankind and the jinn were given free will to do as they wish, but they do not will except for that which Allah has already willed. It is upon you to hold on to what the companions of the messenger were upon. For they are the best nation who ever walked upon this earth after the prophets. Best of them is Abu Bakr, followed by Umar, followed by Uthman, and then followed by Ali. These four are followed by the ten whom Jannah were promised. They are followed by the ones who attended the battle of Badr, and then they are followed by those who migrated, followed by the helpers. We remain silent from the disputes that occurred among the companions of the prophet. May Allah have mercy on them all. For if we were to spend in charity, Gold the size of Mount Uhud, my son, we would never be able to reach that level. Leave the newly invented matters, for every newly invented matter is misguidance, and every misguidance is in the fire. Leave the gatherings of the people of innovation. Don't debate with them, and don't be close friends with them. Refrain from accusing the people of Qibla with disbelief, if their innovation does not involve matters of creed. And if this is the case, leave it for those whom Allah has given knowledge, May the mercy of Allah be upon those who know their limit. Leave argumentations and futile debates in the matter of this religion. Ya Safwan, know that the Iman is made up of belief in the heart, utterance with the tongue, and it is completed by action. It rises with obedience to Allah and it declines with disobedience to Him. My beloved, when it declines, do not give up, but return to your Lord and repent, for Wallahi, He loves those who repent. And when it rises, don't be boastful of your good deeds. 
Indeed, Iblis did that and he earned the wrath of Allah. Know that Allah rewards his righteous believers with paradise and his enemies, he punishes them with Jahannam, both of which are in existence now and will exist for an eternity. No believer will remain in Jahannam forever, nor will any believer who is impure on the day of judgment enter Jannah. My son, do not rebel against the leader with a sword or with a word. Obey the leader so long as he does not command you to disobey Allah. Regardless if he is a sinner or righteous, upon you is obedience even if he beats your back and takes your wealth. Ya Ibn Abba Safwan, it is preferable to wipe the wudu over the socks so long as you follow its conditions. Never abandon the gift of Allah, which is the Salah, for so long as you are holding to these, you are knocking at the door of His mercy and His mercy overcomes His wrath. Never lose hope in His forgiveness, for He forgives every sin. But my son, do not belittle the wrath of Allah, for it destroyed nations upon nations. Be exceptionally good with your mother, don't displease her. If you want to have a hint of the love of Allah, then gaze at your mother. Making her happy is getting closer to Allah, while hurting her is angering your Lord. Marry a woman who will assist you to strive for the never-ending world. Teach my grandchildren what I've taught you. Let the believers be safe from your hands and tongue. Know that the best of the believers is the one who is most beneficial to them. So make yourself useful and acquire a skill with which you can help the world and the entire humanity. Let the Quran be the source of your guidance. Let the path of the one who the Quran was sent upon be your path. This was the way of the Messenger Salawatullahi Rabbi wa Salamun Alayhi. His companions, the way of Ibn Hanbal, Abu Bakr al-Ismaili, Ismail ibn Yahya al-Muzani and al-Tawri, and the rest of the righteous predecessors. This was the path that I tried to strive upon. With this we live, we will die insha'Allah, and with it we meet Allah Azza wa Jal. May Allah make us among those who act upon what we hear, my son. May He unite us in Jannah, and may Allah make you among the leaders of the righteous. The depth of my love for you, surpasses the deepest of the oceans.